called 911 saying his son had been shot is now accused of being the one who pulled the trigger. EMS found the son lying in the driveway on Prosperity Drive on the city's west side Tuesday morning. He was shot several times and was taken to the hospital. And there he told police that it was his dad who shot him. Police say the father handed the gun to his girlfriend and told her to hide it. I've known him for years, so I don't understand why it happened. A lot of people just shoot, and that's not right. Police say both the dad and his girlfriend are now facing charges. She's accused of tampering with evidence. A San Antonio couple says they caught the moments a police officer shot and killed their two dogs on camera. We do want to warn you that video is disturbing. Police say an officer was called out to the home off Lock Hill, Lock Hill Road Sunday for reports of an assault. And when he knocked on the back door, the dogs ran out. The officer claims he feared for his safety, so he shot the dogs. One of those dogs belonged to the couple's daughter. They say she was killed in a drunk driving crash back in 2022. She said it was her spirit animal. And that is one of the last, you know, real things I had left of Kemi. Now, police say the Internal Affairs Office is investigating since the officer discharged his weapon. The couple says Animal Care Services also cited them for loose dogs because their yard was not fenced in. There were human trafficking allegations on San Antonio's west side after a home inspection led to seven arrests. DART raided two homes on West Commerce on Tuesday after a month-long investigation. Police say they found illegal weapons, drugs, terrible living conditions at two properties. Seven people are now facing charges ranging from possession of controlled substances to evading arrest. A million dollar cheating scandal involving teachers has three school employees behind bars for organized crime. That scheme involved falsifying credentials for unqualified teachers to work in local school districts. It happened in Houston, where investigators believe it was all orchestrated by a high school basketball coach. Two high school assistant principals were also arrested. One is accused of taking more than 400 certification tests by fraudulently impersonating at least 200 teachers. The other is accused of recruiting nearly 100 teachers to participate. Multiple school districts in the Houston area are likely affected, leading to heightened concerns about educational standards and public safety. A homeowner is describing how a man tried to set her home on fire while holding a samurai-style sword, and she watched it on camera as it was happening. Check out the video. 46-year-old Phile Nguyen is seen pouring gasoline all over a driveway at a home in Katy, just west of Houston. The homeowner says she tried to tame the flames herself. He actually started pouring it up underneath my truck. Then that's when he started pouring it all in front of the driveway and everything else. So at this time, I'm trying to put the fire out. I'm trying to run back in the house and call 911. Deputies say they had to shock Win with a taser to take him into custody. 24 hours after a possible mountain lion was spotted roaming a northwest side neighborhood, Bear County deputies say they set up traps to try and catch the animal. Neighbors reported seeing a big, long-tailed, dark-colored cat behind the Triana neighborhood in Holotas off Highway 16. Deputies say they searched the area but found nothing. I feel comforted. Um, you know, there's a lot of people that walk in the neighborhood. It is a beautiful neighborhood. So as long as I see them walking and, you know, with the Facebooks and the different avenues of communication. No one really has seen anything since last night, so I feel safe enough to walk in the middle of the day. If the sheriff's office does catch the animal, they told Kens 5 they would follow the appropriate protocol for catch and release. Kens 5 viewers have been sending us great Halloween pictures, and we want to see yours. So here are some of the ones we've gotten so far. Medusa and a guy dressed as stone. Mom and daughter, clowns. SpongeBob and Patrick. And finally, Lorenzo dressed as a creepy clown. We want to see your pictures and videos and your spooky house decorations. Text them to Ken's 5 at 210-366-0020 or share them on the Ken's 5 app. A burn ban is now in effect in Bear County. In the last two months, brush-related fires have been on the rise. 51 fires were reported in September alone. The burn ban means residents are restricted to burning waste only if no trash collection services are available and if wind speeds are less than 15 miles per hour. As if we're going to see any rain today, let's check in with Palmerellas. All right, a few sprinkles out there this morning. A slim chance of seeing rain this afternoon, maybe a 20% chance. Otherwise, it's going to be a hot day. High right around 90. It's also going to be a breezy day.
And that's Kins 5 News Now. I'm Sarah Forgani.